What's up, what's up? Sneakerheads, kick collectors and all. Chem Force One here. Gonna go ahead and go through uh, Cops of the Day today, August 19th, 2011. Went on a little shopping splurge. So, uh, decided to share with you guys. There's a couple of kicks in here, no worries, no worries. Everybody's gonna still see sneaks. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into what we've got. First thing I'm gonna start off with here. A couple of new shirts that I got. Got some, uh, some not very known name brand shirts. I like to go with some streetwear gear and stuff like that, but let's check out the first one here. It's like an old rundown train. Black shirt, black print. Name brand is B Ethic. Anybody want to check out their gear? It's pretty sick. Got a couple of shirts by them. See if there's anything on the back. Nope, nothing on the back. There's that one. Next shirts, next two shirts actually. Are probably one of my favorite my favorite t-shirt brands going on right now. It's an independent throw that there. Called Revolutionary Me. Their shirts are, like I said, very streetwear like. Very gaudy and out there, but I love the look of them. I love the style of them. Their prints are sick. This one here looks like we got the Brooklyn NYC up there. Got our radio DJ. Looks like they got some gold chains and bling on there got the revolutionary me logo right there also up here but the sickest thing about these shirts is each one of them is different titled and the title is actually listed on the shirt itself here so I'm gonna flip over the shirt real quick here this one here looks like it's behind a maybe looks like a little Gucci print Brooklyn NYC there's the NYC I didn't even notice that Cool, cool. Yeah, they're mostly definitely DJ Element shirts. Got their their uh, little logo here, the little catchphrase. Not for one, for everyone there. Revolutionary me. But I'm going to put the cam down and actually flip it over. There we go. Alright, there's their sticker, or their uh, their tag right there, if anybody wants to check them out. They got revolutionaryme.com, you can buy all these shirts online. But here's what the back of their shirt, first off it says their title right up on the top, Revolutionary Me. This one here happens to be in gold, so, uh, gold uh, shiny gold there. But then on the bottom right of the shirt, this one here just says big. This is actually the title or the, the name of the shirt, the, the style that they give it there. So I got another revolutionary ME shirt right here. Let me straighten this one out. Like I said, this is all kind of like DJ based shirts. This one here's got a turntable and a microphone, kind of set up as a robot. Flip it over. Once again, like I said, this is a white tee, but they got Revolutionary Me on there, and then for this one, flip it over, they got this title as Logo Elements. I actually picked up this tee for my True Blue Threes. Colorway goes really, really well with it. There's that one. And there's this one. We got one more. This one here, 666 shirt. Alright, this is a bread shirt, black and red. This one right here, like I said, microphone, chain, revolutionary me here. This actually looks like a, uh, what are those things called that you can, kind of like what the Grim Weeper carries or something like that. It's got the microphone uh, cord wrapped around it. Elements right here of the New York City. And then the red is a shiny red print on it. Six shit. I really like it. Flip this one over. All right. Revolutionary me and that shiny red look and the title of this one. Sick Mike. So there you go. Some really really hot tees out there. Match up with your Jordans, match up with your Nike's. Match up with anything. But uh yeah, Revolutionary Me, revolutionaryme.com. You can find them at your local malls, some of the uh, 
some of the kind of like, I don't know if you want to call it, uh, like the fashion stores and stuff like that. But, uh, but yeah, they got them there. All right, a couple of other things, a couple of pairs of laces. We got yellow. We got kind of like a sky blue. Pick those up for uh, some shoes I'll throw in there. All right, accessories. Boom. Got some red uh, Nike wristbands. Two pair, actually, and they're the, uh, the thin. I don't really like those thick, long wristbands on my uh, wrist right there. I like the little ones there, but... Match those up with your fitted you're wearing, match those up with your sneakers, your shirt, whatever you like. Good accessory. Alright, let's get into the shoes. Alright. Now, I'm definitely a LeBron fan, as you can see that before my uh, previous uh, reviews and all that. But this is a different box. As you can see, still LeBron, but they got the different shoe here. I haven't even looked at this shoe, the box here in general. Let's see if it gives the title. Mm, nope. All right. So what these are? Let's go ahead and open these up. All right. For twenty-five bucks, brand new in the box. There they are. We got the LeBron Four Soldier. White, black, red, and gold colorway. For twenty-five bucks, I really couldn't pass these up. They, uh, me being a white, red, and black shoe, uh, shoe fan, these were definitely an easy scoop. Some similarities between most of LeBron's, his tongue always has a lion there. This one here happens to be black on red. Really, really good look. The Soldier, LeBron 4 Soldier, had that Velcro going across with the Nike brand. LeBron on this one tab. James on that tab. Got his L23 logo right there on the side. Back of the shoes got Witness for each of them. And of course, part of the Air Max series with the, uh, the sole right there, the clear sole on the back. Bottom of the shoe, pretty plain and simple. Red cushion, white swoosh, black sole. But uh, yeah, inside has the black swoosh right there. Outside's pretty plain. 25 bucks. Hell yeah, I'll cop these in a second. So there was another colorway. They had a team uh, team colorway, which was like a navy, silver, and white. Those were like 50 bucks, but um, I decided to pass on those. Like I said, there's these are pretty old fours, so. There's part of the box right there, L23, Friendship, Loyalty, Trust. And I guess all that went away when uh, he signed with Miami. So that uh, little logo or... Uh, catchphrase he uses this probably doesn't exist anymore but whatever all right let's see the next pair of shoes we'll close that up keep those there next pair of shoes this is from the nike factory outlet store as well here in the az and let's take a look at them all right we got nike zoom hyperfuse low these came in from the nike store uh, into the outlet store from quarter they went ahead and released them. They dropped them price on them. Open these up. Boom. All right, Nike Hyperfuse Low Royal Purple. Set these guys up here. Once again, not a lot of color differentiation in these shoes, which I really like actually. I like an all one color shoe. These are all Royal Purple. Nike also came out, the Hyperfuse also came out with, uh, let's see, they got the orange ones, the green apples, they got these royals, they had the blues, they had a gray and blue combo, a whole bunch of uh, Hyperfuse lows from 2010. Let's take a little closer look at this shoe. Start with the tongue, Hyperfuse. The Hyperfuse tongues are always kind of cheapo looking, but, uh, but yeah, this one here, it's got that plasticky feel to it. All purple on the shoelaces, side of the shoe, all royal purple. We got the gray swoosh, and then we got a little part of the midsole right here that's blacked out. And then of course the sole is blacked out with the royal purple logo there. Nike on the back, and that little plasticky hyperfuse plastic. 
Outside of the shoe, we got the mesh going on still. We got the gray or silver swoosh right there. But I really like this material on the midsole on the inside right here. It's the same material as the mesh. It kind of drops down from there and goes into it. But uh, it's a really, really, really hot shoe. Royal Purple. I'm a Baltimore Ravens fan for the NFL as well as the Cincinnati Bengal fan. But everybody knows what Cincinnati's doing this year. Probably going to be the worst team in the league. So I'm definitely aiming toward uh, Baltimore. These will be a nice pair of shoes to wear with my Baltimore jersey. Inside of the shoe, just that orange Nike. Nothing big. Final thing that I copped, and there's going to be a lot of people that are going to probably post up comments on where I got this, but I got really lucky. I was at the Nike store, Nike outlet, and I found this shirt that is a perfect match to my LeBron Solar Reds. I'm a perfect match. This is a Nike Solar Red print on the gray shirt right here so i have i have the solar reds with me right next to it and we can go ahead and throw that up i know you can't see how mango looking it is on the vid here but in person this this truly is a perfect match right here for the solar reds this color right here isn't black it's actually navy but hey when you can find something that matches the solar reds you scoop it in a second Let's go ahead and get that lined up like that. So yeah, there's that. And as soon as I saw the shirt, I, I had to get it because as of right now, there's absolutely nothing that matches the solar red LeBrons. So there's that. Ken's Cops of the day. Oh man, I'm, I'm really liking these. Really, really liking these. I know there's not much I can wear them with, but... For the price I got them at, and for the uh, the kind of flashiness that they pre present, I'm all about that. My LeBrons, and I kind of got my LeBrons just because they were 25 bucks. <laughs> I'll probably wear them around. I might actually play basketball on them too, or work out in them. But uh, but yeah, I can't really pass up 25 dollar LeBrons, even though they did come out four or five years ago. Here you go, got the rundown, my shirts, those there, some laces. Alright guys, Chem Force One, pickups of the week, everybody stay fresh, everybody stay cool, stay chill, stay tuned, there's going to be another video, a lot of uh, ASU Sun Devils fans, Arizona State Sun Devil fans are going to really like it. So a little sneak preview of that. But uh yeah, stay up, stay tuned, stay chill. Chem Force One is out.